Let's go ahead and solve the 2018 AP Environmental Science free response question number two. So this is the math question. The math question um, up until 2020 test was number two. And so pause the video for a minute, take a minute and read the prompt. Um, on this paper, you only have the math portions here. The rest of it has been cut out at this time, so the math question will not be entirely math. It will be only about half math. So letter D on this paper, calculate how much electricity in megawatt hours the wind project needs to generate per year in order to provide 80% of the electrical demand. So it says that the electrical demand up here is expected to be 2 million megawatt hours. So one of the things that you need to make sure you know is that a million is 10 to the 6. So 80% of 2 million megawatt um, hours. So we have 80% of 2 times 10 to the 6 megawatt hours. Always put your units in your work. It's extremely important. Do not forget units in your work right here. And so we have here 0 0.8 times 2 times 10 to the 6. And um, so starting in 2020, you can use your calculator, but the math up until 2019 was easy enough to do without your calculator. So you can just multiply these together. 0.8 times two is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the six megawatt hours. So starting again um, in 2020 test, the numbers will not come out as easy or as nice as this. They will be real numbers, so they will not. Um, so before this, they always chose numbers that divided or multiplied easily. Um, and after this, after or 2020 and later, they will pick real numbers. So it might be something like 2.368 times 10 to the 6 megawatt hours. And it won't be quite as um easy to multiply or divide. But these old ones are easy to multiply and divide. So the math is not going to get harder in 2020. Um, you'll just be allowed to use a calculator and the numbers won't divide or multiply easily. All right, so the next one is E, customers in the service area. Pay 20 cents per kilowatt hour for electricity. Calculate the amount of revenue that will produce be produced if the wind turbines provide 80% of the electrical demand in the surface area. Okay, so for E, you need the answer from above. And we need to convert this to kilowatt hours. So one of the things that you have to memorize, you will not get a conversion paper on your test, but you need to know that one megawatt hour is equal to a thousand kilowatt hours. And so you need to be able to do this conversion. And again, make sure that you memorize all of the metric conversions. So a thousand kilowatt hours over one megawatt hour. And so we have 1.6 times 1,000 is 1,600 times 10 to the 6, meg, uh, this would be kilowatt hours. So my megawatt hours cancel out. And now I'm going to multiply that by the 20 cents per kilowatt hours. And so this is the lovely thing about dimensional analysis where you set things up and you are able to cross out units because then you can kind of see if you're on the right track or not. So now I'm gonna take 1600 times 0.2 
then I'm gonna get 320. But don't forget, don't leave off this 10 to the six. You didn't need it to do this multiplication right here, but a lot of times students forget to add that on. And so this is a dollar amount. We're ending, we're ending with dollar because we crossed out the kilowatt hours. But this is bad scientific notation. So I can change this to um, 320 million. On the AP test, you could leave it at this, or you could leave it like this, or you could change it to proper scientific notation, 3.2 times 10 to the eighth. Don't forget your dollar sign. You have to put your units in. Um, so any of those answers on an FRQ would be acceptable. Going on to F, assuming all turbines are operating, calculate how many hours the wind turbines must operate to provide 80% of the annual electrical demand in the service area. Show all work. Okay, so first we need to use that answer again from letter D. Now, the Here's the thing, there's no double jeopardy in apes. So what that means is that, let's say way back here at letter D, this answer was wrong. And you came up with this answer, it was wrong. But if you use the wrong answer correctly later on, then you would still get credit for E and F. So that's nice. It means that um, we, if you, even if you get the wrong answer for F, if you put it correctly and the setup correctly for, I'm um, sorry, if you get the wrong answer for D, but you use the wrong answer correctly in E and F, um, and you come up with a correct answer using that wrong number here, you will still get the credit for E and F, not for D, because D was wrong, but for E and F, you will. All right, and so we know that one turbine provides four megawatts of power. So one of the reasons why we know our setup is probably correct is because we want hours at the end, so we know that we have hours up here and our megawatts cancel out. So we have hours still left in our work. So now we can take 1.6 divided by four and we're going to get 0 0.4 times 10 to the sixth turbines We still have our hours here. Um, and now we can take this number, and I'm gonna rewrite it over here a little bit smaller because I need some more room. And I'm going to now divide it by 200 turbines because that's the number of turbines that they're going to install. So it said way up at the top of the problem, it said the project will consist of 200 um, turbines. And so now we're going to divide to get our number of hours that they're going to have to operate. So 0 0.4 divided by 200 gives us 0 0.002, and don't forget to add times 10 to the six, and now our turbines cancel and we have this many hours. But we don't like it in this format. Now you could circle that and be done on an FRQ. If you wanted to, you could take it out of scientific notation. Um, so we could do one, two, three, and this would be two times 10 to the sixth hours. So if you did that, it'd be okay. I'm sorry, not sixth. It's 10 to the third hours. Um, and 
lines, or you can completely take it out of scientific notation and do 2,000 hours. So any of these are fine for the answer for this question. And that's it for 2018 FRQ.